All right, hello everyone, and welcome to a demo for a terminal dashboard for Nomad. My name is Julian, I'm based in Germany. I work for HashiCorp, particularly the HashiCorp Cloud Platform. And yeah, I will show you like my terminal UI for Nomad that you can use to basically operate your Nomad cluster, display your jobs, watching your deployments and so on. And yeah, so how did I get the idea to write such a tool? Like in my previous job, I worked a lot with Kubernetes and in the Kubernetes community, there is like a similar tool called K9S, which is actually a pretty nice tool, but it's for the wrong scheduler, right? Um, so yeah, when I started uh, at HashiCorp, I fall in love with the Nomad scheduler and I was searching for such a tool, but I wasn't able to find one. So I said like, okay, let's build one. So I started to implementing this tool. And today I think it's in a shape where people can start using it. And I'm really happy to be able to uh, demo it today to you. So the tool is called Daemon. I hope you get the relationship. Um, it's basically Nomad backwards. So that's the name. Uh, I personally like it. I hope you too. And I hope you like the tool as well. So let's just start uh, because we just have 10 minutes and we need to get through the tool. So uh, you basically start daemon by just typing the tool name. Uh, you don't need to provide any further um, commands or parameters, anything. You just start it and you get this view, right? Um, so the layout is simple. You have like a header and you have a body. Um, and people who know K9S will see the similarities. It's clearly inspired by K9S, but like this is like a common layout that's also used by HTOP, other such tools, right? So yeah, so there's a header, there's a body. The body is where all the information is uh, going on that you need to operate your cluster, like jobs, deployments, and all the other things. Um, then we have the header, which is divided into three sections. It will give you the informations on the left. Um, here you have the address, um, which you can simply click, and then we'll uh, open the UI of Nomad, which is pretty handy because at this point in time, Daemon doesn't have like all the features that the uh, web UI has. So you can go from here to the web UI and do things if you cannot do it with Daemon. Uh, you have the version of daemon, there's namespaces, we'll talk about that soonish. And then in the middle we have like the commands, this is like the top level commands that you can use. Um, now because I scrolled in, you cannot see the view commands, but if you scroll down you will see it. Like by default you will always see the jobs when you open daemon. So this is why here it says job commands, this is for this particular view and what you can see for this particular view. So you could hit enter to display allocations for a job, or you can hit T to hit the, uh, to see the task groups for a job, right? Um, and then on the right, uh, we have the lovely Daemon logo, and yeah, of course the body. And this is now where we will focus on and we will spend our time. So first of all, like navigation, like how do you navigate through daemon, how do you use it? Like basically, uh, people who are familiar with WIM, you can use JNK to uh, navigate through the tables, um, but you can also use uh, the arrows up and down to navigate through the tables. And I wanna speak a little bit about coloring because this is another important thing. Um, so depending on the status of your resource, the Basically, the, the, the color will change. So running jobs are uh, white. Um, batch jobs also when they're running white. But if they are if they run to completion, if they are dead, they will be grayed out. This is different for a um, service. If they're dead, they will display red. And I want to quickly show that. So if we go to jobs, um, we choose one and we stop it you will immediately see that uh, the color basically changes, right? Yeah, so this is similar um, for deployments, everything else. If they're pending, they will be displayed yellow and so on. So let's go quickly back to 
the web UI and start the job again, because this is also not implemented yet so that you can do it from the uh, from Daemon. But this will be a feature that is also coming soon. All right. So you can immediately see that it's running again. And this is similar to, to deployments. And now we'll just change the view to deployments by hitting Control D, like as displayed in the commands above in the header, right? So if we hit Control D, we see the deployments. And if we go quickly back to the UI and we stop the job again, and we start it, it will start a new deployment. And you see that running deployments are highlighted, right? They have this uh, bluish, greenish color, um, bright bluish color. And so that you can always see like, there's something running, there's a deployment running, and you can basically have like an overview of what's going on. Nice. So let's take a quick look at the time. Yeah, we're short on time. Um, next thing is, Control N for namespaces. It's boring, but it's still like super uh, important to me, at least to know what namespaces are there and like to see a description, what this namespace is about, but what can I find there, for example? So this is also pretty handy, but you cannot do at this point in time anything else here, basically. So let's go back to uh, jobs. Now I want to show like how can you switch namespaces, like hitting S you can switch the namespaces. So for example, if we go to the test namespace space, um, you can see that there is one job running, right? Hitting S again, we have an empty namespace because I want to show that again uh, as well, just to you know show like how does it look like if there are no jobs available, you will just get this little information that there are no jobs available. Same as for deployments, we'll say there's no deployments available or there's no namespaces available, or no logs available, and so on. We will get to logs soonish. Yeah, so um, if we go back to the default uh, namespace, uh, we can continue with the um, allocation view. So if we go into, for example, the example job, we can see the allocations. And what you didn't see here right now is that also like the sub commands will change depending on where which view you are showing. Uh, in this case, we are in the, uh, in the allocation view, so you can see the allocation commands. And here you can only hit enter to display logs, so let's do that. And this will bring you to the log view. Um, yeah, so here you can scroll through the views using the mouse, but you can also use J and K or arrows up and down to scroll through the view. There's not enough logs right now to do that, but um, yeah, it's still possible. Like you can also use um, capital G to get to the top. You can use G to get to the bottom and so on, like similar to Vim again. Um, what you can also do, and this is like the pretty handy thing, is that you can hit slash to search it, right? It's like you can search the logs by hitting slash. For example, if I hit config, it will show me the lines that have config. Um, another example would be if we hit Redis, there are two log lines that show Redis. And <clears throat> the search string that you hit enter uh, will be highlighted in yellow. And everything else will be get a little bit grayed out. So if we go back here, you can see again like all the logs and they um, are not grayed out anymore. You don't see any highlighting anymore. And hitting enter will bring you back from there. If you hit enter, control, O, or escape, it will bring you back to the allocations view. And now if you want to go back again from the allocations view to a previous view, uh, Daemon has a history that you can go through with control, O. And control, O brings us back to the uh, jobs view. And yeah, I think here we are on time. Um, I think I was able to show the most parts and the most important parts of Daemon here. Uh, there's a little bit more that you can do. Like, for example, um, you can hit, hit Control P to jump to a specific job, like space to job. And then you get to the alloc allocation directly. And there's features missing, and they will come. Watch out. 
uh, where can you find the tool? You can find the tool um, on GitHub under the HashiCorp organization. Uh, so yeah, thank you for attending. Bye everyone.